New month, new eBay sales update. Now that we're in April, let's review March and let's just jump right into it. Um, as you guys can see, so just to summarize, um, these are my sales throughout the year. I'm not a full-time seller. I just do this so I can, uh, you know, keep keep collecting and increase my collection. Um, this is just from this year, from January till now. We're mainly going to focus on the last month. I uh, had a few big sales, so we just kind of want to focus on that. Uh, most of it's sports cards. I'm not currently really selling any Pokemon cards at the moment, um, but that's going to be something that's coming down the line with more Pokemon to sell uh, eventually. Um, let's just jump right into it. We had a few bigger sales right here. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to jump in on, as you guys can see, so we got the player name, card type, buy to eat, you know, all the information here, the grading fees and everything. Um, it's pretty accurate. And then we have our, um, total profit right here and sale price. So none of this includes cards I haven't sold. This is just cards I have sold. Um, we are currently on track to be a top rated seller. Uh, and the, as of the 20th of this month, and we have 92 active listings, I'm trying to get that up to 100, um, and then keep kind of increasing from there. Um, so, anyways, let's check sale dates. Um, so, let's we're going to focus on just pretty much all of March. You guys can look, you guys can check out all the other ones. Um, uh, they're all on here. But in March, we started off with a this is a Rui Hachimura first off the line. Um, it was like really nice card. Bought it for 41 bucks, graded it for 19, and uh, yeah, flipped it uh, for 205. So pretty happy with that one. Um, you know, I wanted to I wanted to keep that card, but you know, profits. Um, then we had Austin Reeves on the sixth. Uh, this is like a, I think this was a pop one card, just like nobody had graded it. Um, so you could see 49 dollar profit. Um, got that for. 15 bucks um got a sam darnold um right here that we just offloaded we actually made profit on just because he's not on the niners anymore um then if you guys haven't seen my other videos um this was a big sale right here this is a cj stroud downtown that i actually won uh from a giveaway from latour um he's doing like a starting with a hundred dollars trying to get to a hundred thousand um selling with only sports cards and yeah, he sent it to me and I moved it at, it had a nick on it. It had like a, a ding, 700 profit because it was free. So absolutely wild. That paid for my whole trip to collect con and I got a bunch of cards. So, um, super cool. Then, um, there was this D'Angelo Russell auto, um, $24 total profit, bought it for 18 last year. Just flipped it after he started to get hot. Uh, this was a Brandon Allen card. I got in a little lot, um, last year and four dollar profit just moving it um because i had a few of his his autographs um then this this card right here this is a brock purdy um i picked this up at a local card show for 20 bucks um it was during the season but i think it was when purdy wasn't playing as well anyways the guy said it wasn't going to grade well because of centering it didn't have a centering issue but there was a slight ding in one of the bottom corners Anyways, he didn't know what it was worth. I offered him twenty. I told him he tried to get me, I think, for like forty, and I was like, I can't. And anyway, so he took my offer at twenty, hundred and five dollars profit. So um, I do PC Brock Purdy, so that was kind of sad. Um, I had this Aaron Donald card that had um, gotten on a a break from Loop. Um, if you guys are PSA members, you get like the Loop credit. Anyways, I just bought into a break with the credit. Um, so it was like pretty much a free card. Um, just made two bucks. Um, let's see. Chase Young, an auto. He's not on the Niners anymore. Just flipped. Um, Ten bucks. Profit. Another Brandon Allen. This is a booklet. Um, same thing. $19 profit. Just getting out. He's like the backup or one of the backups for the Niners now. Um, I had a Sam Laporta and like two other base cards that I had pulled. Um, like $11 profit. Just got out of those. I had a Reeves. This was a Reeves card. Um, red, white, and blue that I had bought, um, that we took a little, little bit of a loss on. I bought to potentially grade. I didn't think it was 10 worthy, so I just flipped it. 88 cent loss. Sometimes that's important. Um, sometimes, especially if you're looking to grade, just know when to move on from a card. Um, then we had a 
this was an Austin Reeves. This was kind of a similar situation. I had bought this from a friend. Um, there was two cards in a lot that I bought from him. And I believe it was, this is accurate, $160. And it was a SGC. Um, so I probably should put on here that this was, this was SGC. Um, I didn't grade it, but so yeah, we lost 13, but that freed up, um, you know, $146 that I can move into other cards. Then this was the most recent sale. Um, actually this one was, this one was before I just logged it after this was before the, uh, Reeves. So, um, PJ Hall, he's the center for Clemson. He's going to be going into the draft, uh, NBA draft. Um, I bought this eight twenty six twenty three. Uh, I was up late one night on eBay looking for Prism Autos and found a few of his for cheap, kind of scouted them out, asked my buddy to give him the eye test. Anyways, picked this gold out of 10 auto up for $10, went it on bids on eBay. Then I graded it with the special at $14.99, sold it for $305.85, $225 profit. So that doesn't always happen. I got a lot more of his cards. Um, I got some other ones I'm looking at grading now potentially because he's going to be going into the draft. Um, got them sitting on my desk here. Um, but that was my last, you know, decent profit right there. Um, so for the year now, we are up to 2742 in sales with 1800 profit. For the year through three months, this is three full months. Um, I believe we're coming up on a year of full eBay sales. I don't. It might be a year. I have to double check that. Um, and I believe our total sales are in the seven thousand range for all of it. Um, being more serious as of late. So that kind of summarizes. Just a quick little update. I like the transparency. Just to show you guys, like actual actual costs with the grading fees with the with the fees and the shipping taken out like a lot of those videos they just post psa 10 five hundred dollars and it's like it's not 500 because like the fees like i mean look at this i lost 51 dollars in fees like that's unfortunate um or 161 11 <laughs> in fees so you know unfortunate um but it does happen but this is like the real part and once again I do want to remind you guys that, you know, these, these sales don't include, this doesn't include like this number here doesn't include cards that, um, I've paid to have graded, but haven't sold. Um, so that is a thing. Just keep that in mind. But I just like to update as I sell. Um, so yeah, this, this number's really actually lower as of now, but it's just something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, I just I try and sell to keep growing the collection. Um, right now, I'm kind of diving a little bit more into Pokemon. Um, I'm still doing sports card stuff. Um, we're getting some grading orders uh, going soon. We'll be doing a Pokemon and then a sports. Uh, it'll be NBA and NFL for one PSA order. And then a Pokemon only one. So that's going to be fun moving forward. Uh, get back and start grading more and flipping more stuff. So... Um, yeah, so my plan moving forward is to kind of do more of the same. Um, if you guys are interested, let me know if you're interested in like pre-grade videos, uh, like what I'm submitting, um, or if you guys want to know more about like my mindset, I can dive deeper into it. This is just kind of a, you know, just an overview of what I've been selling, but I, I can give you guys kind of my approach, but um, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Remember, it was never a phase. It was never a phase. Catch you guys in the next one.